The Galaxy S20 Ultra is Samsung's biggest Android phone and it lives up to its name. It is the first Samsung phone with a 120Hz display which is designed to deliver smoother motion when you are scrolling and especially playing games. You can also toggle between 60Hz and 120Hz in settings which will come in handy if you want to save battery life. Samsung's 6.9 inch display will push the boundaries of your finger's reach but it won't feel much bigger than the S10 Plus. Its width is actually a little smaller than the 6.8 inch Note 10 Plus and 6.7 inch Galaxy S10 5G. It's just that the Galaxy S20 Ultra is noticeably taller, not wider, expanding to a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. You can still grip it with one hand and shove it in a deep enough jeans pocket. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is made of glass and aluminium and it is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6. The specs of this smartphone rival the likes of laptops, meaning it's more than you will ever need. The internal specs are all top of the line, a 7 nanometer chipset, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 in the US or Samsung's Exynos 990 in the UK and Europe, 16 GB of RAM, 512 GB of internal storage and a micro SD card slot for expandable storage. The app's performance are silky smooth. The S20 Ultra isn't a pure gaming phone but it matches the Asus ROG Phone 2 and Razer Phone 2 with a silky smooth 120Hz refresh rate. The S20 Ultra has a 108MP 1.8 aperture main camera, a 48MP 3.5 aperture telephoto camera and a 12MP 2.2 aperture ultra wide camera. There's also a time of flight depth camera on the back aiding portrait photos and 3D scans and a 40MP selfie camera on the front. It's Samsung's biggest camera sensor upgrade since the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. The main 108MP camera delivers great quality pictures with stunning details. The camera performed well in almost every light condition. The telephoto lens is capable of 10x lossless zoom and a crazy 100x space zoom. Pictures from the selfie camera delivers great dynamic range and quality. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra camera introduces 8K resolution video recording and steady stabilization. 8K is going to allow you to crop and edit video without sacrificing quality while the 4K will give you more frame rate and zoom options. Samsung's super fast charging returns on the S20 Ultra up to 45W with an optional charger and 25W with the charger included in the box. It also supports 15W fast wireless charging. Samsung equipped this phone with a massive 5000mAh battery which is the biggest in a Galaxy S series device. Samsung Galaxy S20 has a lot of potential. Samsung promised something amazing will happen in 2020 and here it is. iPhone 11 Pro Max smartphone was launched in September 2019. The phone comes with a 6.5 inch Super Retina XDR OLED touchscreen display with 83.7% screen to body ratio. It is powered by Apple A13 Bionic 7 nanometer processor. It comes with 4 GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the iPhone 11 Pro Max on the rear packs triple camera setup consisting of a 12 megapixel main shooter and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. There are two cameras on the front for selfies. One is a 12 megapixel camera and another time of flight 3D camera. This device is based on iOS 13 and packs 512 GB of inbuilt storage. It is powered by a 3969 mAh battery with 18W fast charging support. It was launched in space grey, silver, gold and midnight green colors. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark II comes with a 6.5 inch display that has a 4K resolution. It's a HDR OLED panel, however the company has included a new feature that will allow for a 90Hz effect on the screen but it doesn't seem to use an actual 90Hz panel. Sony's latest flagship phone features a 3.5mm headphone jack on the top edge. The design is glass on the front and back, both of which are protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6 technology and it will come in either black or purple. It also has a full bezel at the top rather than a notch or punch hole. Inside the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, there's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset, which is one of the very best processors on the market. It offers some strong performance and be able to cope with all the tasks that most other top-end phones can do. The phone comes with 8GB of RAM to keep it running. Storage-wise, you have got 256GB of space to play with here, and that's expandable with a microSD card. 5G is one of the big talking points of Xperia 1 Mark II, there's no 4G only variant of this phone. The camera is another idea Sony's put a spotlight on. 
The camera includes a 12 megapixel main sensor, a 12 megapixel telephoto one with 3x optical zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor alongside a 3D time of flight sensor that will offer groundbreaking autofocus technology. It's using a technology that Sony developed for its alpha range of cameras, and the aim here is to give you the best shot through stronger autofocus. This technology can completely autofocus and auto expose your calculations at 60 frames per second, while the camera itself can take 20 shots in burst mode each second. But Sony claims it improves autofocus for low light conditions as well as in everyday shooting. The phone can also record video in 4K HDR at up to 60 FPS. Pictures are amazing with this camera with its stunning dynamic range and color accuracy. On the front of the phone, there's an 8 megapixel selfie camera, and Sony announced they have made significant improvements for front facing shots. Sony has also made some big improvements to the battery on this device by increasing it to 4000 mAh on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II up from 3330 mAh on the Xperia 1. There is also fast charging here that will allow for up to 50% charge in 30 minutes. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is the most advanced big screen phone so far because it's much more than a phone. It's a highly evolved note taking device. Samsung has made its most elegant looking phone yet with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The squared of edges combined with the sophisticated mystic bronze color give this handset a corner of its vibe. The finish does a good job of resisting fingerprints. The massive 6.9 inch OLED Quad HD Plus display on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is big, bold and colorful. More importantly, this is the first Samsung phone to offer a dynamic 120Hz refresh rate. The display is exceedingly bright and is fairly easy to read in direct sunlight. When using the display, scrolling is super smooth and fast. You can always choose 60Hz manually if you want to save battery life. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra features triple rear camera setup plus a laser autofocus sensor. The camera array starts with a 108 megapixel wide camera with a 1.8 aperture and it's paired with a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with a 120 degree field of view. The 12 megapixel telephoto lens delivers a 5x optical zoom and up to a 50x super resolution zoom. The zoom lens delivers amazing quality. Every time you zoom into something, you will be surprised by the distance it covered and the details it captured. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's night mode is good, but it's not quite as bright or colorful as the iPhone 11 Pro. Pictures taken with this device deliver stunning quality with great details and colors. The Note 20 Ultra delivered better results than the iPhone 11 Pro in close-up shots. If you want to record the sharpest video possible, you will be pleased to know that the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra can record 8K video with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. There is also a new Pro Video mode that lets you control the focus, exposure and zoom speed. The 12 megapixel selfie camera up front has a 120 degree field of view, which should come in handy for group selfies. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra benefits from a swift 9ms response time for its S Pen, which is designed to deliver more of a pen to paper feel when taking notes or drawing. It's one of the fastest Android phones around and it's one of the first handsets with Qualcomm Snapdragon's 865 Plus processor. This chipset boosts the clock speed by up to 10% to 3.1 GHz and the graphics is also 10% faster than the regular Snapdragon 865 chip inside the Galaxy S20. This processor is paired with 12 GB of RAM and either 128 GB or 512 GB of internal storage. As you would expect from a premium flagship, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra supports both flavors of 5G. You will also appreciate the improved DeX experience, which is now completely wireless. Now you can beam what's on your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra screen to a compatible smart TV. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra packs a pretty beefy 4500 mAh battery, which held up well in daily use. It comes with 25W fast charging. It also supports wireless charging and 9W reverse wireless charging. It offers a best-in-class display, a better S Pen experience and a boatload of new features for work and play. The cameras are stellar, fixing the focusing problem with the Galaxy S20 Ultra, and the powerful zoom and Xbox gameplay give the Note 20 Ultra an advantage over the upcoming iPhone 12.